Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Legacy Evolution Medics figure. Just the transformation process. Reminder, the review is separately uploaded. This is also going to be a tutorial, so I hope it helps you out. But it also works for Crankcase and Skids Burnout and Crosscut. We're going to start off with them by taking the chest, lifting this up. Mine's a tiny bit loose, to be honest, and you can lift the back part up as well. This will pretty much line up. You heard that click in place straight away. Then what we're going to do, I'm going to bring the wheels in. So turn the orientation of the old arm and the shoulder. See, that'll do that. Then you can turn the wheel into the wheel arch. And then there's a little cut out there and a little tab either side of the top of his chest. You might as well just press that in straight away. Right, the reason so that got stuck is because you need to take this whole waist section up. I was going to try and do this all last, but now if I show you what I mean, see the waist? Move it all the way up, push it all the way back and bring the legs down at the same time. So the legs are going down, you're pushing the waist section back. Now that will tab, no problem, unrestricted. So repeat the same process on this side, fold this over, correct the wheel and then tab that in there. To be honest, pretty much done. What we're going to then do is join the legs together via these tabs at the back, like so. Let's join all this up open up the shins mine is not tabbing together it's typically being a pain in the bum so let's see why i can't get it to that oh no i've missed that there we go right now because we've pushed the hips all the way up very simply start to turn this all underneath mine keeps separating for some reason and it's quite frustrating then you can see them tabs tuck them underneath there these will come around and underneath like so you can then bring the doors down and then you've got a tab which will cut cut sorry hook over there like so and the same on here there you go you heard all that click in it's all about getting the mid the waist tucked up underneath then fold the wheel out on that side then fold the wheel out on that side and then of course you can attach the bumper i've already got the, the light bar attached as well but there is your alternate mode hope this helped take care so if we're going to take him back to his robot mode, I've already took these accessories off. You can keep the light bar on, to be honest, but you are going to need to take the front bumper off. Oops, because I've done that, to be fair, it looks like I've just started the back part. What you are going to do is you can lift up these doors and then you can just separate the back nice and carefully. Pull it right out. This is still tabbed in underneath there. So what I need to do, in fact, if I move the arms up out of the way for now, I can then turn my attention to here. What's happening is this waist section is still connected to the roof. So what I need to do, there we go, just untab them. And then you can see this is what I mean. You've got to correct this all the way up and over. So hold on to the waist, hold it nice and tight, fold up the shins, tuck away the feet underneath. Oh, hold on to the foot first, tuck away the feet, bring over the chest, that'll lock into position, lift the arms up and then correct the orientation of these like so. These will spin all the way around and then it's a choice of how you have the back. You can either have them out or in, but what you definitely need to do is there's a tab underneath there and that should come around. It won't really tab into much, but if you just bring it back, you can cover as much of that there as you want to, rather than leaving it out in the open. See how that lifts that up? If you bring it down, it'll cover quite a lot of the space there. Unfortunately, no, there is no actual tab, but it just fits there rather nicely and covers everything up. There you go. Hope this helps.